to hold a convention, we need more than a convention center. We have hotels, and we have hotels. There are lots of hotels in Tonopah, and including about 200 hotel rooms within walking distance of the convention center in the downtown area. We're going to walk down to three of those hotels now to show you how close they are to the convention center. Now we're going to cross this street here and walk down past Central Street toward the first of the hotels, the Belvada. You can actually see two of our hotels as I walk down here, the Bavada to my, to my right and the Mizpah to the front. Directly behind me is the Bavada Hotel. This hotel is a historic downtown building that is under reconstruction and is expected to open sometime in 2019. This will be the closest hotel to our facility. I'm going to walk down a little further, show you the sidewalk area, and take you down to the middle of Tonopah, the crossing between on Main Street between the uh, uh, Belvada and the Mizpah. We spoke with the convention center, and there are discussions underway to actually create an extra sidewalk in this area, but the street is paved, and up here, as we come up to the Belvada, you see there are curb cuts to get onto the street. Because, because uh, this is a under construction hotel, you're just seeing some things in construction. But because it is a re being reconstructed, it is being brought up to modern standards, including ramps, full sidewalks, and ADA compatibility, the hotel will have an elevator as well. Now we're coming down here to the crossing of Maine and Brugger which is pretty much the center of Tonopah. Convention Center representatives advise us that before 2021, they expect the Nevada Department of Transportation, which owns this street, it is US 95, to do some reconstruction of it, to create a pedestrian li warning lights and to make it a safer crossing for everyone concerned. Over here behind me is one of the smaller hotels that's in our downtown core, the Jim Butler Inn and Suites. This is a motel that has rooms on, on two levels, including ground level rooms with direct access to the sidewalk and a second floor, which of course is stairs accessible only as small hotels tend to be, but it does have plenty of rooms. I'm gonna go across the street so you can have a, a look at the Mizpah, which is probably our most prestigious hotel. As I said, the Jim Butler is right here. Located a few blocks up this way is the Best Western High Desert Inn and Suites. It is a Best Western hotel. It's a, it has ground level parking, I mean uh, ground level rooms of course, and uh, has quite a few rooms actually. I believe that is the, clo the furthest away of the walkable hotels. Now don't let the steps that in this shot fool you. There are, there is a ramp accessibility area right behind me to the, come to the side door. And here we are outside the front of the historic Mizpah Hotel. This hotel was originally built in uh, the early 1900s and at a time was the tallest building in Nevada. It has been completely restored and is a beautiful hotel inside and out. 
And don't let these steps in front of me fool you. It has been brought up to where it does have accessibility ramps. We're going to go down and have a look at that right now. Down here is a, is a ramp accessible entrance to the front uh, lobby of the hotel. The hotel does have an elevator. It has four floors of sleeping rooms. And even though it is, by the standards, a luxury hotel, it also manages somewhat economical accommodation over here to my left. They manage the old brewery hostel, which has 10 hostel style uh, accommodations for the budget minded group or people who want to travel as a, together and share a common kitchen area and some shared bathroom space in order to keep the pricing down. I would actually note while we're here that over to my left and behind the hotel is the Tonopah Mining Park, which is an extremely visible landmark of the city and is really very much worth the visit while you are here in Tonopah. Located behind me are the parking lots for the, is the main parking lot for the hotel. There is also a paved parking lot located down on this side of the hotel along with handicapped accessible parking. This paved parking lot, including the handicapped parking, is accessible to ramps that lead up to the main door of the hotel. This parking lot separates the main hotel from the Mizpah Club Casino. We're aware that some people are concerned about smoke. The Mizpah Hotel itself is non-smoking. The casino is a completely separate building and it is not necessary to cross a casino floor to get to any of the hotel space or to any of the function space at all. Behind me you see a ramp that leads up to the entrances to the other part of the building that do not go through the casino that will take you to the elevator to the function room located on the upper floor of this building. This is the main lobby and bar area of the Mizpah Hotel. It is a gorgeous hotel. I cannot even begin to tell you how much we like this place. It is a great place for socializing, for drinking beyond the area we're behind here to get together with friends. There's also a restaurant. There's an entrance to the dining room area. The area behind the safes is actually historical exhibits. There's the lift up to the upstairs. There's also one small function room located on this, in this building that we may use. This is a place you want to see. Tonopah is a place you want to see. And I hope that this will help persuade you that this is something you want to attend.